Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. As this here, we have log 8 raised to power x equals to log 80 from here. The next step here, we apply the power law of log of logarithm. Now we have log m raised to power p. This same thing as p log m. And this here, we have x log 8 equals to log 80 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. And this here, log 8 cancel each other here. We have x equals to log 80 over log 8. The next step here, we can write 80 as 8 times 10, which implies we have x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8. Then from what we have here, this follows the law of logarithm. And we have log a times b, which can be written as log a plus log b. And this here we have x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. But this separate this into two fractions. We have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. Then yeah, we have log 8 cancel each other one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 8. Then, next step here also, 10 can be expressed as 2 times 5, which implies we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8. Then, from here, this follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 8. Then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. That is, yeah, 8 can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 2 presenting as 2 raised to power 3. And what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to power 3 plus log 5 over log 2 raised to power 3. Then we apply the power law of log here. 3 comes here and also here and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2 which implies here yeah, log 2 cancelled each other we have x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3 plus here yeah, we have 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2 then here we can write 1 plus 1 over 3 as 4 number 1 over 3, which is the same thing as 4 over 3. And this here we have x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2. Then also we apply change of base a. When we have log a over log b, we can write this as log a to base b, which implies here we have x equals to 4 over 3 
plus 1 over 3 plus 5 is 2. Then we bring this together as one fraction. Now we have x equals to the SCM here that's 3. Here becomes 4 plus log 5 is 2. That is the value of x here we have 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Then let's check if this satisfies this given problem. And this substitutes the value of x here which is x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes it raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then we can express it here as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And this power multiplies 3a cancel with each other. I left the 2 raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And this follows the law of indices. And we have a raised to power n plus n. It's the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. And here we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then 2 raised to the power 4 here, 2 multiply itself 4 times, which is 16 times. This follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equal to b. At this here, we have 5. Is it equal to 80 on this side? Then here we have 16 times 5, that's 80, which is equal to 80 here. Then left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment also join our membership package for access to more videos and exclusive packs and see you in our next class and bye for now